Calling all chocolate lovers. Yep, I'm talking to you, Clark, on the steady cam with this camera because he says I grew up in Switzerland. Before I say anything, this is all chocolate. We got a big treat for you. Take a look at these dazzling works of edible art. They are the creations of French pest pastry chef Amari Gouchon is his name. His designs are featured on the Netflix reality show. It's called School of Chocolate. And his unlikely journey from struggling student to chocolate connoisseur is now an inspiration for many people. This morning, we can reveal the show has been renewed for a second season. Yay to that. Mark Straussman got the sweet assignment, you could say, to visit the chef at his Las Vegas Culinary Academy. Amari Gouchon. He's part Picasso, part Willy Wonka. A celebrated pastry chef becoming world famous for bending chocolate to his will and his imagination. All of these 100% chocolate. Absolutely, yeah. You can actually uh, turn the steering wheel, which is also a fun added feature, you know, making it a little bit playful. It's quite amazing. Chocolate is beautiful. Look at his sculpted masterworks. A roaring gorilla, a motorcycle, this elephant. Elaborate, intricate, each of them 100% chocolate. There is uh, 1,500 feathers. <laughs> All of them were done by hand with the tip of a knife and then assembled one by one. This one was very challenging. Meticulous. Yeah. Kind of draining. Oh, I was dead at the end of that day. <laughs> It's a pterodactyl, oh my God. Gouchon shares his secrets and skills on his hit Netflix series, School of Chocolate. We're gonna have a 45 second window to bend the chocolates. Eight contestants, all accomplished pastry chefs, but they've never been challenged like this. Sorry. You're really reimagining chocolate. I'm trying to push the boundaries, yeah, of what's doable. Chocolate is so precious, it's so unique. I still learn things about chocolate. It sounds stupid, right? It's just a liquid blob of a brown matter, and yet you find beauty every single time you work with it. Like his creations, Gouchon's story feels like a chocolate fairy tale. He floundered as a student in France. When Gouchon was 14, the school system pushed him to learn a trade. I was pushed into choosing uh, either culinary or hairstylist, so I choose culinary. You're telling me you became a pastry genius because you were a bad student? I, yeah, <laughs> and funny enough, now I'm, I'm deep into education, so I'm on the other side. My whole teenage years, I was told that I was too stupid to pursue any other things. It's sad, but it's true. And I was told that I would never do anything good with my life. And now I'm 16, I'm in a, a field where people consider lame. So I'm like, let's be the best at it. A decade ago, 21 and speaking no English, the chef moved to Las Vegas. His showmanship sparkled in this city of glitz, and he eventually started showcasing his work on Instagram. Now 31, the chocolate charmer has more than 6 million followers. His eye-popping images are produced by his wife and co-CEO, Fiona. That's perfect. This masterwork is called Father Nature. This is my favorite piece. You know, like every piece of art, you know, you look at, it gives you an emotion. The way I was able to capture the, the look on his face, like an old soul, you know, wise and calming. Uh, I didn't know I had it in me. Even his most intricate creations take no more than a week. Under the right conditions, Gouchon says they can last about 20 years, although admittedly losing a bit of flavor. So if I snapped off his head, it would taste yeah, okay. You, you might punch me, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's milk chocolate and it's delicious. Gouchon also founded this Las Vegas Pastry Academy with chef Michel Ernotz. Over 10 weeks, students learned the craft and chemistry behind original desserts. Customer. He gave me a shot at building something simpler, lemon tacos. <laughs> Sorry. Clearly, some people should stay out of the kitchen. But for Gouchon, this is the place where a chocolate genius transforms the mundane into the magical. I often say I'm not the best sculptor. You see some clay sculpture or wood carving people who do some crazy amazing thing. The only thing that makes me stand out, it's chocolate. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Oh, uh, oh. Very, very impressive. Love the guy. Great backstory. Wish him the most success in the world. But do we I hear a but. A piece on chocolate. No one ate any chocolate. <laughs> zero chocolate eaten in the whole piece. How does it? I wouldn't want to eat it. I think it's. I, I love that. You, that's what art is. Taking something yes. that's ordinary and mundane and making something beautiful and spectacular. He's done that. That's really cool. I wouldn't want to eat that, it. That, I wouldn't want to eat it, but I was curious, Tony, to your point about what it tasted like. I was wondering that. It's like chocolate. But I so love, <laughs> I I so love the are. chef, though. I got caught up in his, in his story to be told that you're not going to amount to anything, yes. that you're worthless. Yes. I mean, it's just another great example of you can't let somebody else define who you are. He's an artist. Yes. But give me a Hershey bar for, for everyday chocolate. <laughs> you get one after the show.